talking about uh, lead acid batteries. And there's of course a lot to tell and perhaps uh, this could be interesting. At the moment uh, I have in my garden a solar panel and that charges these batteries here. This is by the way a good quality battery, it's a Varta. Varta is a very very good brand from Germany and uh, well these two batteries here are parallel with these two batteries here. So we have here 24 volts. These batteries uh, by the way are uh, a little bit old. And these batteries, the same batteries by the way, that I bought approximately uh, two years ago are healthy. It looks very very sloppy, sorry for that. When you want to uh, make um, these kinds of battery circuits with uh, lead acid batteries etc etc, all the connections must be made very properly. And this is more or less experimental in any way. I have uh, <coughs> here a charger unit. That's a Steka charger. Steka is a very good brand. And this uh, uh, unit uh, receives solar energy out of the solar panel. That solar panel is approximately 48 volts and 350 watt. And then uh, this charger is connected via a wire to the battery. Of course, no problem is that. Uh, but the problem, more or less a, a problem with this uh, Steka charger is that its charge voltage is quite high. It goes to approximately 28 volts and that's in my opinion too high because on a certain moment when we are talking about uh, lead acid batteries, when the voltage to a lead acid battery gets too high it starts to produce gas. gas. So, uh, uh, both um, O2, O2, and on the other uh, uh, pole, uh, hydrogen. So, hydrogen gas is produced and oxygen is produced. And that makes uh, this combination when uh, the uh, the charge voltage is too high, a kind of uh, not very safe situation. As long as these two batteries are free, on free air, um, the oxygen and the hydrogen gas can, can say flow away freely, no problem is that. But, but uh, when you mount them for instance in a closed box, uh, that is a problem, surely a problem, because uh, hydrogen and oxygen can hang inside that box and can explode, only with a very very small spark. And I have uh, uh, experienced that in the past anyway. So a big explosion anyway. Um, well, I made this circuit in the past and I will give the link in the text box. It is a unit made with two transistors that can show whether the, uh, the battery, the 24 volt battery is charged and is on a uh, say um, an acceptable level of charge and when the voltage on the battery goes down 
the red LED here will light up. So uh, when the battery gets, the, the, I mean the two batteries here in series, so when the 24 volt battery gets more or less depleted, the red LED will light up. And you can set it here with that precision potentiometer. It was in that earlier video. So, uh, well, the steaker charger, and I've mounted here a diode that goes to the, here you can see that diode, that goes to uh, out of the steaker charger, the positive of the, uh, the steaker charger, to the battery. The reason is that with that diode, it's a silicon diode, we drop the voltage somewhat and get to a safe charge voltage where these uh, two batteries don't produce too much gas, say hydrogen and oxygen. Um, and that's good. When such a lead acid battery is uh, gets a too high charge voltage, it, it will in a certain way uh, it will produce gas and it will cook out in a certain way. The, the fluid inside such a battery disappears through the holes and then even when it is say in this case a completely closed battery there is a ventilation hole surely here on the back side and uh, with, via that ventilation hole the gases can um, uh, expand and go to the atmosphere. Anyway, that was more or less all to tell because I've mounted here a diode to the battery here. The charger, the Steka charger, uh, is not able to measure any longer the voltage that is present in the battery. Because um, uh, such a diode acts as a kind of valve, so only the current only can flow in one direction and that means that the Steka charger here inside does not sense properly the voltage on the 24 volt battery combination. So I've made by purpose an extra this unit here. Uh, it's directly connected uh, parallel to the two uh, 24 batteries in series. So that I have an indication here when the battery gets depleted the red um, LED will light on. So kind of compensation for the Steka charger. The Steka charger that has, in my opinion at least, uh, gives out a too high um, uh, charge voltage. And well it works properly, no problems with that. But in my opinion, uh, such a charger does not uh, must not go higher uh, than the gas barrier of the standard lead acid battery, like it's here. I hope it was a little bit clear. Thanks for watching. It's a kind of science, that's my uh, opinion and also my experience during the 15 years that I was busy with uh, solar energy systems and especially I always tried to um, use these lead acid batteries in solar energy systems. And in general uh, it's not easy. That's what I want to tell. The charge current must be okay. Um, uh, the discharge current must be okay. And especially here when we are talking about the Steka charger, 
it charges with a pulse current. So it looks in a certain way to the two batteries here and then it charges uh, with a pulse current and that depends when the, the pulse, the pulse that's given out of this charger depends on the discharge that is active at, uh, at the same time. For instance here, uh, here is the plug, it goes to the, uh, the inverter that changes 24 volts into 230 volts and 50 hertz and when I connect it here uh, and when we are uh, in a situation where the sun shines on my solar panels we have the situation that there is discharge and charge at the same time. You hear it beep now and well at the moment the battery voltage is 25.5 volts that is perhaps uh, seems quite good at the same time there is discharge in this circuit in my household. So on a certain moment this green LED will switch to a red LED when the battery voltage drops to approximately 24.2 volt. And the strange thing of uh, lead acid batteries is that they act as a kind of sponge. And their behavior is also that of a kind of sponge. So, um, could be that on a certain moment uh, the voltage is too low, but when you disconnect the inverter, the voltage will go up again somewhat. No problems with that. It's, of course, all classical electronics. And say um, chemical reactions inside that lead acid battery.